I'm Eloise, this is my channel, and for today's video, we are recreating the Miley Cyrus, the Miley Cyrus makeup from Don't Call Me Makeup, from Don't Call Me Angel music video. I have just recorded the Ariana Grande version of this video, obviously doing her makeup, um, and that will be in the description box down below, and I will also link it in the cards throughout this video. But anyway, today we are doing Miley Cyrus makeup and I am obsessed. It is this sort of like floating liner, nothing too perfect, more smudgy, sort of cut creasy thing and I absolutely love it and I think it looks really cool. So yeah, I didn't do the hair in this makeup tutorial. I did Ariana's hair in the last video but I've already done a video on this hair so that will be um, linked in the description box down below that, but that's basically how I did my hair, like beachy textured waves. Um, but yeah, I so wish I had her little short fringe. I haven't even showed you the bloody look. Let me show you. So this is the look. So she's got like this floating liner, super smudgy. I don't know why, but I felt like it had a slight green tinge to it. So I've done like an emerald green version. And um, yeah, she's got like this beachy textured hair. I wish I had that fringe. I feel like that would so make the look. But anyway, I, I'm not gonna cut my hair for a video, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, she just looks insanely hot, literally smoking. So yeah, I felt like I just had to recreate it. And um, yeah, I kind of tried to recreate the outfit as well. Can you see the buckles? around me um, but I only had one of this belt so I could only do one of the cro if I had two that would have looked so sick um, I've like found some little gold chains that I don't know I was trying to work with what I've got alright but anyway if you are interested in seeing how I got this look then make sure you keep on watching but before you do make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe and all that jazz and let's crack on mm -hmm. me angel you ain't got me right so I've just done this eye off camera, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's supposed to be like this smoky floating liner sort of cut crease thing. Um, so this is what I've done. Um, I kind of felt like it was more on the greeny, grungy side with the grey on the lid. Looking at it now, hers kind of looks a little bit more black, but what can you do? Um, it's just a rough interpretation of what she has on her eyes. Okay, so obviously we need to start off with Say It Together Now, Eyeshadow Primer by MDK in the shade Enigma. Let's just whack that all over and please excuse my eyebrows, I am currently growing them out. <laughs> out of all three looks, I was most excited to recreate Miley Cyrus's look because she just looks so smoking hot. And I don't know, I just love a bit of grunge, so. And it's something different as well. The Ariana one, if you haven't seen, I posted that on Monday. Um, I will link that down below. Uh, that was a little bit more wearable, like just like an evening glam. This is just gorgeous and out there, and I have green all over my face. What I did to start off with was map out the shape of the floating liner. So I used the 24-7 Glide-On Pencil by Urban Decay in the shade of Invasion. So... I just did it really, really roughly, to be honest with you. I didn't make it too, too neat. So the majority of the makeup today, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Palette, which is the dark, smoky green one. So I mainly use this shade and this shade. Yeah, I think those are the only two shades I used. Um, oh, and a little bit of this one. So I just look straight forward, and where my crease is, I want to go slightly higher. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just sort of roughly mapping out the shape. So I'm just basically following the natural shape of my eye. And then as we get to the outer corner, I'm just making sure that I'm matching the other side. Just flicking it out a little bit. Yeah, and you can always neaten that up as well when we go in with the shadow. I just used this little bullet brush. It's brilliant because it's super, super blah, 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 blah. I cannot speak today. I'm just using this bullet brush because it's super um, fluffy on the end, whereas some other bullet brushes, let me show you, this one is a bit stiffer, so you're not gonna be able to blend. So I just sort of smush over the liner. 
Okay, and now I'm just gonna take Inside Job, which is that emerald green, I love this color. And I'm just making that line a little bit more smudgy looking. It's not like a proper cut crease because I'm not gonna actually clean it up. Okay, now that I've sort of smudged it out a little bit, I'm gonna take a Zoeva 231 and just sort of make that a little bit more blended. My eyebrows seriously need to, they're disgusting. <laughs> How much do you guys love Miley Cyrus? I remember when I saw her in concert when she did her tour for Bangers and she's just amazing, I just love her. I think she's she was absolutely hilarious when she went a bit crazy. And I just love her voice, that slight countryness to her voice is just so beautiful. And I love a bit of country music, who's with me? Who loves a bit of country music? Because it's just so easy to listen to. I think that's what I love about it. I feel like I need to blend that a little bit more and I can't remember what brush I use. So I'm just gonna go for a Morphe M514 and I'm gonna take that olivey shade there just to really help go around and blend it a little bit better. That's better. It doesn't matter if it's completely not perfect because we're kind of going for that look. So now I'm gonna take a little Zoeva, I don't actually know what this is called, I think, oh, I think it says Precise Shader tiny little brush and just the black in the palette. I'm just gonna go in the middle of the smudginess just to create that definition. Okay, so that sort of creates that depth that we've got over on this side. And now, take your bullet brush again and a tiny bit of that emerald grain. Grain? <laughs> Why can't I speak today? Let me just go over the top, just to blend it out a little bit more. Because you can see on this side it's not completely harsh. I've never done a look like this on my channel before. Everything's got to be super wearable, or like, I, did, I used to do a lot of cut creases, super harsh cut lines. And this is just a little bit more editorial, which is, I, I really enjoy doing stuff like this. But often think that, People aren't gonna enjoy it as much because obviously it's not really like a wearable look. Feel like I need a bit more emerald on this side. It's looking a bit olivey. I'm gonna try and take away that olive with the Zoeva 231. Yeah, my eyelids are super dry today so it's not blending the best. I, th I love that it's a little bit um, messy. Kinda looks cool. Okay, so I did clean up this in a corner bit, just a tad, um, just using the eyeshadow primer. I keep looking over to the monitor because it's on a different side at the moment. Um, I've changed room, so my setup's slightly different, and um, I can't stop looking over to the side because I'm used to it. I'm used to having it literally right in front of me here. I'm just taking a little bit of that Enigma eyeshadow primer on a Zoeva 226, and I'm basically working it into the brush rather than just taking a a big old scoop of it because I don't want it to be too sharp um, and I'm just going to clean up this bit in here just so that when we put that grey colour on the lid it's less um, mixing in with the green. Okay so you can see it's not super cleaned up it's just a little bit more blank and now I couldn't find a matte grey in any of the Jaclyn Hill vault collections so i had to go to a different palette unfortunately i wanted to try and stick to one palette um but anyway so i went for the huda beauty rose gold edition palette i think this is the old version um and just the shade suede it's perfect color um and i'm taking my zoeva 234 and i'm just patting that all over the lid she definitely has something on her lid, but it's not um, anything too crazy. It was definitely a matte, I think. But yeah, a little more grey than anything flesh toned. So I'm just whacking that all over. It doesn't have to be completely neat. This almost sort of cleans up a little bit of that line. Now we have to do a little wing. Let's take my Perversion Pen by Urban Decay and just create a little flick. It's going to be so hard to do this eye because in my inner corner where I've had my lashes lifted, it's super curly in there, so it's hard to get a sharp line. But I'll give it a go. It's in here that I struggle. Oh no, 
my builder's here. Okay, right, I've sorted the builder out, made him a cup of tea. So let's carry on with the wing. So, where's my mirror? Here it is. Oh, I'm out of breath from running upstairs. Um, I just sort of did the wing in the direction of where I've swooped up the cut crease. The wings definitely aren't even, but that's what you get for doing them at different times. It's only for a photo anyway. So, then what I did was slightly smoke it out, so I'm just gonna take that tiny little brush and the black and just go over the top. Now, I just need to lather on a load of mascara. I feel like she doesn't have lashes in her um, makeup look because she has crazy long curly lashes anyway um, and mine are pretty curly at the moment too so I'm just gonna chuck a lot of mascara on them so I'm just using the Maybelline Total Temptation mascara it's bloody brilliant I love it okay so those are the eyes done I'm gonna finish my skin and then I'm gonna just quickly show you how I do the lip so I'll be right back Okay, so I look a little bit more normal now that I've got a full face of makeup on. So, to finish the lip off, let's have a little look at what she's got on. She has got, like, just a very natural, undone sort of lip. So, and it's kind of peachy as well, so I'm going to take the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Unicorn and just take a little bit on my ring finger and just sort of smudge that on my lip. And it looks like she's got a bit of a sheen on her lip as well. And then I'm just going to use some Butter Gloss by NYX in the shade Tiramisu. Just in the centre. And on the Cupid Spray just to give it a little bit of a shine. If you want to know how I did this hair, I do have a video of me creating this sort of beachy textured hair on my channel already. So I will link it in the description box down below. So yeah, anyway you guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? It's a little bit different for me, but I am so feeling it. As soon as I saw her makeup, I was like, I am so doing that makeup. It was stunning. I kind of feel like it's so not wearable, but I just love it. I feel amazing and I feel like my Cyrus in spirit. Anyway, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. I'm Eloise, this is my channel, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.